This is Frankie Catafias with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Good morning, Idaho. It's almost 538 on your Friday morning, and I really feel like that deserves a pat on the back. We are barely, I mean, not barely, but we're basically at the weekend. So good news. We've got a great day ahead of us. It's going to be cold, but that's okay, because as long as you have layers, you probably won't even know the difference, as long as you're layered properly, at least. Here's a look at those current conditions. I'm not kidding when I say it's cold. 16 degrees is the current temperature, but it feels like 7 here in Boise. And it's because of a very light wind that we have out of the southeast, moving at about 6 miles per hour. Now, here's a look at the feels like temperatures across the board. In Mountain Home, it feels like negative 5. We are down to single digits in Boise. We're down to the negatives in Mountain Home. Uh, we are well into the negatives for parts of Stanley and Haley and even Twin Falls. So it's kind of, I mean, like I said, as long as you have the layers, this can kind of cut a little bit of the, the, the bite that's going to be happening today. So jacket, maybe two, hat, scarf, gloves, all the good stuff. Treat yourself to a hot chocolate because, again, it's Friday. Maybe a coffee just to keep yourself warm because hey, this is dangerously cold. I mean, we are so below sub-freezing. Just... Just treat yourself to a warm drink. How about that? We'll just leave it at that. Here's a look at that six hour forecast for you here in the Treasure Valley. We are going to anticipate cloud coverage until at least 10 a.m. We are going to continue to see that those wind speeds hang in the single digits, again, impacting these temperatures. So everything that's sitting into the teens, low 20s, is going to feel anywhere from about 6 to 10, even 11 degrees cooler. Now, in the next couple of days, we're going to see a shift in our weather pattern. Unfortunately, we're seeing that this weather pattern that's coming in for us by Sunday evening, Monday morning has lost lost a lot of its fuel. So initially earlier this week, we were anticipating that this system from the Gulf of Alaska would be bringing in anywhere from about mm, three to five inches in some of our mountain areas. And now that we've kind of had a better chance to assess everything, we've taken a look at how it's impacted some of our stagnant inverted air. We're now realizing that it's probably only going to be bringing us an inch, if that in some areas, but still new snow and still a new weather pattern nonetheless. Your Treasure Valley high temperatures for today heading into the weekend. Well, we are looking to be well into the 30s. We are not seeing a change in the forecast. We will see, though, that across just our high and low elevations, uh, some sunny and mostly clear conditions. So exciting, right? At least some sunshine that helps kind of cut the fact that it's really cold outside. Um, we could always do with a little sunshine when it's this cold outside. Here's a look at the East Central Mountains. Temperatures will be hanging pretty well into the 20s and then heading over into the Magic Valley. Same deal. Really, there's no news, uh, flashy news headline when it comes to our temperatures for the week and even going into the weekend. 20s again, like I said, for most of the Magic Valley. Now, here's a look at that 10-day future snow forecast, like I told you. Heading beyond uh, going into our towards our Monday, we're looking at about an inch or two of snow. Our Treasure Valley extended forecast for the next seven days tells us that whatever is coming our way, the system that is coming, likely going to bring us, if anything, light flurries in the morning likely not anything beyond that, but our mountains, it'll be a different story and we'll be breaking that up a little bit later. So it's important to stay with us. But for now, the good news is the weekend. Well, we'll be entering it with just a little bit of sunshine.